In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the options you have when exporting and printing artboards within Affinity Designer. This tutorial assumes you have already created and designed a number of artboards within a single document. If you haven't done this already and need some assistance, please see our other tutorials or see the artboard topics in the help. So here we have a design concept for a fictional company which is ready for printing. If we intend on printing the designs ourselves, we can do this by pressing Command and P. By default, we are presented with a simple dialog. However, if we select Show Details, we are presented with additional printing options, which you can tweak to suit your specific needs. In particular, there is an option available from this pop-up menu called Scaling and Artboards. From here you can select a specific artboard or choose to print the entire document. You can also set the scaling option to suit the paper size and orientation set above. Once you are happy with the settings, click Print. If instead you are intending to send the designs off for professional printing, you may wish to export them as PDFs. You can do this using the shortcut Alt, Shift, Command and S. From the pop-up panel, select the PDF option. From here you can select a preset or access additional options from the More button. We recommend you discuss the best options to use with the print shop before adjusting the settings. From this panel, like the printing dialog, you also have a pop-up menu which gives you the option to export the whole document, the current selection or individual artboards. I'm also going to select the Don't export layers hidden by export persona to ensure this shape, representing an envelope window, is not exported from my envelope artboard. Click Export when you are happy with the settings. PDFs automatically export each of your artboards as individual pages. Another way of exporting your document and artboards is through Export Persona. When you add your artboard to your document, slices are automatically created in Export Persona to the size of those artboards, as you can see here in the Slices panel. Let's explore the scenario that we want these artboards exported as PDFs. I simply select them all by clicking the top one and then using the shift key clicking the bottom one and then selecting a PDF preset from the export options pop-up. I also want to export the entire document represented by this slice called concept and the logo as JPEGs. So I'll select these clicking on both of them while holding down the command key and then selecting a JPEG preset from the export options pop-up. Finally, rather than exporting each of these artboards as six single pages, I want to export each trio as a single PDF page. To do this, I first need to switch back to Draw Persona and select the three artboards which make up each side of the trifold leaflet and then group them using Command G. I'll then rename the group like so and then repeat the process. Now I'll switch back to Export Persona and create a slice of these groups. I can do this by displaying the Layers panel, selecting each group and then clicking Create Slice. Back on the Slices panel you'll see the new areas created here. With these still selected I'll set them up to export as PDFs. I'll then switch off the individual leaflet artboards. Finally, I'll click Export Selected to export the remaining slices. You'll notice the leaflet PDF has all three artboards together as a single page, and the concept exported JPEG has exported the entire document as a single image. 
rather than the individual pages you'd find in the PDF export. This was the one we exported earlier from the pop-up export panel. So that's the end of this tutorial, covering the printing and exporting of artboards. But please do also check out our other artboard tutorials. Thanks for watching.